So you want to change your life. Well, I'm going to help you to change your life. It's as simple as that. So there is no clickbait in this. I know it sounds really dramatic. I know the title sounds really dramatic. It probably sounds too good to be true. But the thing here is that there is a way in which you can manifest everything that you want in your life. Things can happen. Things can definitely progress for you. But there is a process and the process is something that is very important and to do it in the correct way is also something that really helps, you know, really helps. So I'm going to explain everything to you. Thousands of clients that I have worked with have also seen results with this as well. And I really hope it can help more people. So a lot of what I'm going to tell you coincides with the law of attraction, but there are lots of things that people don't know, which really helps to manifest, which they don't recognize maybe at the beginning, but you will recognize it as you go through your own journey for sure. So of course the law of attraction is a method in which you can manifest the things that you want by knowing what you want and then thinking about it, putting energy towards it, working towards your goals, progressing towards the things that you want and then boom, you know, one day it happens for you. That's probably what you know is the law of attraction, but there is another part of the law of attraction which is very important to practice and that is the most important part because without it it's very very it's very likely that your manifestations may not progress um, and happen in that sense because if you don't do this part things will delay constantly constantly so you actually want to detach so the key to the law of attraction is detachment now you might think to yourself yeah but moonlight i hear everywhere that in order to manifest i need to like want something, I need to need it, I need to obsess over it, I have to live like I'm living in it. That's true, that's true. You you do need to know what you want and you do want to want what you want, you know, and, and live in that energy and, and say to yourself like, you know, I am powerful, I am confident, I am strong, I am healthy, I am wealthy, you know. But part of this is also being okay without it. The key to the law of attraction is knowing what you want, but being okay without it. That's the key. That is the code. A lot of people don't know that. They just feel like they have to know what they want. They got to live in that energy and that's how it will happen. You got to obsess over it. But you know what? That obsession creates attachment. Attachment is not the key to the law of attraction because attachment creates this energy that is very suffocating. It makes everything stagnant because then you're waiting for something to happen. Waiting only allows more waiting to happen unless it's something mutual. Like if you're at a grocery store and you're waiting to check out you know that the other person is going to check you out. You know, they, like they're going to make that process for you. But in a situation that's not mutual, where you don't know what's going to happen, it's very difficult. You know, waiting can seem like an eternity. It can seem frustrating, emotionally draining, overwhelming. It can feel so, so frustrating for you. And that's why you should never wait for your manifestations to happen. Know what you want, but let it go to the back of your mind. Yes, absolutely, say your affirmations, believe in what you want, believe that you can achieve and you shall receive, believe it, live in that energy, you know, but when I say to you, live in that energy, it's not about constantly envisioning, you know, that your life is going to be happier and better and more perfect in that situation, it's also about bringing that happiness into your present life as well, because the middle ground approach is really important, there is a middle ground approach towards the law of attraction, which is like needing something, and then the detachment energy, and that is the middle ground. The middle ground is basically about being okay with how your life is right now, even if it's not what you want it to be. It's about healing in the present, living in the present, having gratitude in the present, appreciating the present, being okay in the present. You know, the universe doesn't owe anybody anything. So when you think about it in this way, the universe doesn't really owe me a roof over my head. It doesn't owe me Wi-Fi. It doesn't owe me this incredible audience that I have. It doesn't owe me any of this. But the more grateful you are for these things that you have in your life, the more you will be given. And that's also a very um, kind of like a spiritual thing as well, that the more you are grateful for the things you have, the more you will be given. The more you work towards your goals, it will work for you. The more you work towards, you know, love, the more love will be given towards you. And when I say work towards love, it doesn't mean chasing and running after someone who's not mutual towards you. It's about giving love to those where things are mutual, you know, things are progressing, giving love to yourself, giving love to your community, giving love to people that want to accept it as well. 
is really important. Um, you want things to be mutual, you want things to be requited. And if you're in an unrequited situation and you want to manifest that, it's about actually giving it to yourself first, the core you, and everything around you will start to manifest. That's how it works, okay? So even in unmutual situations, unrequited situations, when you put that energy towards yourself, you work on healing, you work on focusing on yourself, loving yourself first, you know, doing things for yourself, everything around you will start to manifest. But there is again a catch with this as well spiritual ego okay you have to lower the ego there is an element here of being humble which really really helps so when you don't feel like the universe owes you everything but you're just grateful for the things the universe gives you the universe will give you more okay um you might think to yourself oh i mean like i'm manifesting so the universe owes me everything no the universe does not owe you everything and the more you live in that energy of knowing that the universe will give you more okay it's kind of like the law of resistance sometimes the harder you try the worse it feels or the worse it gets. It's true. Go with the flow of every day. You know, it's like healing. You don't just turn on a switch and then you've healed. You go with the process. You go with the flow. You live in the moment. You process those emotions. You heal within yourself that trauma, that pain that you've been through. And eventually in time, you will wake up one day and just feel different. You will. You will. You One day you'll wake up and you'll feel like, oh, I do feel a change. I do feel different. And that's the most beautiful thing in this situation. But spiritual ego is really, really important as well because people feel that if they practice spirituality, suddenly they are deserving of everything, that they are entitled to everything. And that's something that needs to also be addressed. So, you know, for example, working on codependency um, and just really appreciating the things that you've got will start to automatically give you what you want, right? So that's really important and loving those around you, being there for those around you, um, being there for yourself is really important. If you want commitment in your life from a specific person, you need to commit to yourself. Be okay by being by yourself, loving yourself, appreciating yourself. If you want love in your life, you have to love yourself because what's inside will naturally manifest on its outside. And if you are codependent where you need someone to love you, you can't be happy by yourself. You can't do anything by yourself. It is going to be harder, you know, for that kind of relationship where it's mutual and equal for it to progress and come together. But if you work on yourself and you can do things, you know, for yourself, you will find that a person will come through and they will want to do things for you, with you, you know, and it will just be really beautiful. So work on yourself and everything will shape itself around you. It will progress for you. Detach, you know, from needing things and instead being okay with how things are right now. Of course, in your mind, think about those beautiful goals and dreams that you have, you know, the way in which you want to live, but then be okay with coming back to reality and appreciating your reality. This, this is really the key because a lot of people do say, you know, you need to live in, in the kind of energy that you want to be in, you know, the kind of energy you want to attract. So if you want like marriage, you have to kind of live like that. Yes, but then when you <laughs> when you visualize it, you think of it, you dream of it, be okay with coming back to reality and not getting depressed or upset and stressed and frustrated that your reality is not what you want in the future. The more you accept your reality and the more you're okay at coming back to the base of reality, the more what you want in your future will manifest for you, the more it will progress for you. And that's incredible, okay? So, of course, you know, it's a little bit like if somebody wants money, right? You can't live like, I don't know, a millionaire, right? You can't maybe spend that much money like a millionaire would spend if you haven't already got that money, right? So you have to be okay with working towards your goals right now, taking care of yourself, building, you know, and, and really putting in those foundation blocks, but also being okay with how your life is right now, whilst knowing that you want to be a millionaire, you want to, you want to live a good lifestyle, you want to help your family, perhaps you want to invest, perhaps you want to do this, that, you know, um, but it's really about also recognizing that, wow, you know, in, in this, in this moment, I have peace of mind, I have happiness, because, you know, a lot of people, they, they want to be wealthy, they want to be, um, you know, they have a lot of money, for example, but they forget certain core fundamental things which they have right now. It could be sleep, could be peace, could be time. Um, you know, it could be good relationships they have, but they're too busy chasing after that particular thing. So when they get that thing, they suddenly find that, yeah, they manifested, you know, money, but where's the peace, the sleep, the time, the love gone? 
that's why the middle ground is a, is really important because there are certain things that you have in your day-to-day -day life right now that are really fundamental to take with you into your future reality as well. Today does shape tomorrow. The experiences, the traumas, the, the happiness, the fulfillment that you face today is something that you will indirectly, in your soul, in your shadow, you will take into the future. And it can be really beautiful. So the key to the law of attraction and also the key to having everything in your life right now is knowing what you want, but being okay without it. And that is how it will happen for you. That is how things will manifest for you. That is how things will progress for you. And when it happens, it will shock you. It will surprise you because it will happen when you least expect it. You know, the key, the, the thing about detachment is that it will literally happen when you couldn't care less whether it's going to happen or not. You know, when you are just so fed up, like, oh, I guess I'm not going to have that much money or I'm not going to have that person. Oh, whatever. I'm just going to take care of myself and put myself first right now. Boom. That's when it will happen. And you will remember this. You will remember this moment of me telling you this in the future because, you know, you would just think to yourself like, wow, like it literally happened when I least expected it. You will be shocked. You will be surprised. You'll be flabbergasted. All of those synonyms coming in now. <laughs> it honestly, it will literally happen when you least expect it. But it will happen when you are your most like authentic self as well, because you will just realize that in order to get what you wanted, all you had to do was just be yourself and take care of yourself. And it's not as complicated as it may sound. It's not as complicated or as overwhelming as it sounds, if that makes sense. But um, the other thing I wanted to mention as well is that's literally how you manifest. Um, do your affirmations, take care of yourself, meditate because meditation is also natural detachment that helps to balance out your chakras, it helps to open up your third eye. Um, obviously you want to meditate for like months and months before you, you know, see your results. It's not just going to happen straight away but, um, you know, if you meditate and you find it very hard in the beginning, it's because emotions need to be purged out, you know, there has to be a balance that starts to occur with meditation so that's really important as well. Take time, be gentle towards yourself but be okay also without having those things that is really important because you can think about what you want constantly and know that you want it but you also have to be okay with your present and I know that the present can feel frustrating for many of you sad upsetting but the more you can accept what's happening right now the more you will be given and that's that's really it you know as in more of like happiness will be given to you more of what you're manifesting will be given to you for sure, um, and working on yourself, healing, you know, um, working at your shadow can be really powerful. I do shadow work healing. If anyone's interested, it is in the description box below. There's actually a lot of services I offer, which are in the description box below, but you know, you can have the life that you want. And I know many of my clients have also got now the life that they want. And it is a process and it is a journey, but it's one that is very rewarding and very fulfilling. And, you know, it, this this will change your life. If you practice what I have said, it will change your life. Start with meditation, 20 minutes a day. You know, that helps with detachment. Put yourself first, take care of yourself. Try to heal within yourself. Don't wait for things to happen. Stay proactive with the goals and the dreams and the things that you are working towards and things will manifest and progress for you in the way that you want it to. And it will happen when you least expect it. And yeah, that's, that's basically what I want to mention. So that's what I have. There's also lots of um, like affirmation bracelets and intention items on my website as well, which can really just help you to detach a lot more. So all of the items on my website help with detachment. Um, there's lots of items on there. There's a crochet flower for manifesting a specific person. There's bracelets. There's over like oh, there's hundreds of bracelets for different areas of your life: consistency, love, happiness, money, wealth, health, strength. You know, all of that. So. It's all on there and um, they're really special items and thousands of people have seen results with them. So, you know, you can check everything out in the description box below and I will see you all very soon. But this is, this video will, will change your life in some way, shape or form. At least, you know, you will recognize this as, as a part of something um, for sure. And that's what I wanted to mention. I also have TikTok and Instagram. If anyone wants to follow me on there, feel free to do so. Um, links are in the description box below. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.